Hey guys, welcome to today's video. It is Tuesday and you know what that means? Is it Tuesday? Yeah. And you know what that means? It means Horde Station, Sales Barn. There's probably nothing here, but we're gonna go and we're gonna check it out because Sophie and I are connoisseurs of animals. Sam, are you a connoisseur of animals? Uh, connoisseur of the meat, the guys so. <laughs> Yeah, the meat guy is here. So Sam is gonna get that. I see the field across the road there. Do you guys see? I'm showing them full of geese. The geese were flying south today. They flew over our house and there were a lot of them. And my goose jumped up and flew straight at me. Like, it, and it's kind of scary when a goose is flying straight at you. I told him, you better not fly away. Typically a pet goose won't fly away, but you never know, it makes me nervous. Anyway, let's go see what the sales barn has today. What are you looking for? I don't know. You never know until you look. There are kittens here for sale, but we already have one. So the kind of cow that Sam and I want is a micro mini Highland. Aww. But look how cute them. Cows are really sweet, actually. So every week that we come here now, we're looking for goats. So I like pygmy goats. I always liked pygmy goats, but I don't want those. I really like Nigerian, but these ones are, are, this is my like second favorite. They're really, look at how cute these ones are. They can tell they're young. He's a cute buck. I don't see a lot of bucks that I really, really like. I love ours. But look at, he's been disbutted. Yep. He's cute. He's actually cute. You're really cute. If we needed a buck this season, you would be it. Baby kitty. A baby kitty? With kitty with kittens. Uh. Oh, oh! you can't touch. No, don't touch them. She's just la laying there. Leave her. She has to see a baby. Don't stress her out. Just let's stand here. Be quiet. We don't want her to leave them. It's cold. She needs to keep them warm. Sam got me some female bacon. I love female bacon. I love ham and I love female bacon. He always buys meat there. I loved that goat, you guys. So I'm really particular about, like, so when you're breeding goats, you have to think about all the genetics you're bringing into your herd. And we're definitely gonna use a different buck next year, even though I really like our buck. And I love him, like his personality, his temperament. I love how he looks, he's so cute. And I really like that one. It's, he reminds me of ours. And he has the same name, isn't that crazy? Anyway, we met his owners he's that were selling them. He's, he's a bit bigger, yeah. Ours is small. So he's a Nigerian cross with something else. Yeah, so Sam reminded me that we need to make sure that we get a registered one so we know exactly what we're getting because bucks are so important in your her in your herd. They obviously constitute 50% of your gene pool pool, so no goat for us today, but if there we were gonna buy one, that would have been the one. He is so freaking adorable. All right, so we are at the feed store. We love it here. I'm gonna get this for the duck and the goose. Uh -oh. So sadly, we lost our last pea chick yesterday. He's gone. I have a hard time with death. It just makes me feel awful. I feel like there was something wrong with him. He just failed. Like. He was failing for a really long time. I tried everything. But anyways, the dogs are loving the bed now and the cat. Ruby and Ellie love it. Ruby, leave her alone. Sadly, I have this entire bag of, of wild game feed. So I can feed this to my ducks in addition to all the other stuff that I give them. So we're gonna take that down to the barn now. Ah! <laughs> we also bought some shredded beet pulp and some whole corn, which I'm gonna explain about. So the reason I bought whole corn instead of cracked corn, which most people give to ducks and geese, is because in the winter time, it takes them a lot longer to digest this stuff and it keeps them warm longer. So that's why I bought it instead of cracked corn. This is the container that I keep the duck food in and I'm gonna try and integrate this stuff into it so that they get a little bit of it at a time. They're gonna continue to get the feed that they get, but I'm just gonna add this in a little bit so that I can use it up and it doesn't get wasted. That's probably good. I keep the duck feed up high because the goats love that stuff. No matter how 
much I try and keep them from getting into it. If that door is open, every goat knows to run in there. Every time I add something to their feed, I always add it super slow and I bought shredded beet pulp. It's really good for pregnant does. And now that our senior does are hopefully pregnant, I definitely want to keep them super healthy. A goose likes sticking his nose in here and digging in it. Did they like the food? Did they eat it? Yeah, Lucy loves it more. Lucy, yeah. Leo's more like the bass. Yeah. All right, so my little stand in here. It's getting nice and full. It's so weird though. Comment below if you guys agree with me. It's so much more fun shopping for animal feed <laughs> than it is for groceries. Do you like shopping for animal feed or groceries better? Um, groceries. But she likes making the animal feed. Show me how you're gonna make it now. I didn't make the grain this morning because Sophie loves making it. How much beef pulp? Just a little tiny bit to start. You don't want to give them too much at once. Like this much? Uh, no, you can do a little bit more than that. That's way too much food for four goats. Okay, so Sophie keeps asking me, do we have to wet the beet pulp? Actually, goats and cows and sheep, you don't you don't have to wet it. In fact, our goats don't like wet food. Well, I'm gonna try it. I was worried they wouldn't be able to eat it, but apparently they love that stuff. And like I said, we're gonna go really slow with it. And and save it mostly for winter time when it gets really cold and especially when they can't be out foraging around for grass and stuff. But our goat, our goose and our duck be looking so healthy and so cute. They're so beautiful. The goose actually poops huge now. That's not my favorite. <laughs> I still love him though. I love buying animal feed. Sophie is fighting with the buck. Fly around like a helicopter. <laughs> you can't throw him around like a helicopter. <laughs> she hates him. <laughs> Stop. Don't argue with him. So she threw some corn for the duck and the goose, and he can't have corn. <laughs> <laughs> he is so funny. He's so sneaky. He just like goes around her and <laughs> okay, to you get it. Up, no, you pick it up. Well, here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> anyway, as much as I love get Sophie's him. still fighting with the box. As much as I get love him. buying food and get making him. the food and like feeding our animals. Molly. I hate building fences. And today, I'm Sylvia and I are doing that. So she's picking up the corn that she put down. <laughs> We're gonna build some fences. Sylvia and I are exhausted now from wrangling that buck. Okay, you yell and he stops. <laughs> the problem we're having now is that even when the goats aren't in, in heat, when we go to leave his field, all the dogs are standing right at the gate with me. So then I have to hold the gate open for all the dogs to run through and then he thinks he's a dog, so he runs through. And when I yell at him, and Molly bites his feet. I threw hay in here this morning because Penny and Gracie were in here, or Penny and Willow were in here. So what's your plan, Stan? Oh, there are the horses. because there's a big draft that comes underneath this door. And the snow is gonna come underneath there. Yeah, so I wanted to put something here, so now I'm gonna... No. Can you dig it under a bit? It's oh, only honey. Oh. Cause honey. Come on, Sophie, we gotta go to build our fences. I'm gonna put this on the, there to help block, keep the... Can you bury it in the inside of the barn? Like here where all the dirt is? Well, it's gonna go like level to this on the oh. bottom. I'm just gonna cut it. Oh. All right, well, we're gonna go build some fences. Do you know where your staple gun is? Nope, where we last left it. That's where he tells me that, so that he doesn't have to remember. Wherever I last left it. The problem with this house is that everything is in a different spot. I know I have more fencing. Ruby, get over here. Last night, I actually dreamed that we came in here and we built a home for the cat, which we do need to do because he sleeps in here. So maybe we can put like a bunch of straw in there. This is where he wants to sleep, so we're gonna let him sleep there. There they are. You guys missed all the drama, all of it. Yeah. 
So somebody says that we should hold Rosie a lot. Why? Because it'll make her more friendly and she will. Oh! Oh, somebody bit me. So essentially, Sophie and my job today is to lock in the goats. It's almost time for them to be locked in for the winter. They're going to be in a smaller area, just like the horses will be. So we're going to fence this whole gate. What? They can go through that, you know. We're going to fence that too. Come on. I know, I have to go find all my fencing. Fence all this and then fence that, that gate over there. That's the goal. That is the goal. Take an end. So you know how when you have little tiny kids at home, like babies and toddlers, mostly toddlers, and you have them at home and you're trying to do stuff, but you know like they're not going to last long and they're going to want to be entertained. So you're trying to do whatever you got to do as fast as you can do it. And the toddlers just be watching you every single thing you're doing. These are our toddlers. <laughs> they just come down here and watch every single thing that we do. I thought you were going to say it's me and Gabby. These are too small. No, they're good. Perfect. I quit. Drag it nice and tight. Alright, so I couldn't find all the fencing that we have. We bought like a ton of it. I really want to do something with this area. It's like kind of closed in. It's got a roof. I feel like this is a perfect spot for the duck and the goose to come out. Like to have a shelter if we put something in there. Or even it's a good spot for a buck. It's tiny though. All right, so this is the plan. So listen up, guys. Basically, we're gonna close this fence off and make it so that the goats can't go through. And then we're gonna close that gate right there behind Sam so that the goats will have all this space. They'll be able to go over here and the buck will be gone, so they'll be able to go over in that section over there where the round pen is. They'll be able to go all the way to the end there and they won't be able to go out in the farmyard. It's gonna be like under snow so much snow so we're not gonna um so it's better for them to just be in a confined area and this is it this is going to be where they're going to be able to be we actually decided not to fence off this area because it's not going to make any difference in the spring we'll probably do see how the fences over there are new we're probably going to do that over in this section here as well don't you know that you